This is the instructor's introduction for History of Photography Part 2. So, of course, you always have your opening page, which I also call Introduction. This is a link that would take you to more information about August Sanders, and you have a 15-minute video that's really great that talks about his life and his work. We then have the continuation of the timeline, starting from about the 1921, so the 1920s, and it ends um, 1959. Again, some cool links about different things that happened during this time frame. The uh, Farm Security Administration is a really cool um, government-funded program that many of the photographers that we'll talk about in this class, Walker Evans, Dorothea Lang, um, and, and more, um, we're a part of, so I would encourage you to check out any of these links or all of them as additional information for this learning unit. There's the part two of the series that you're watching. This one goes from about um, the 1920s to the 1960s. That's a 55 minute video and I hope you enjoy learning about that particular era of um, America through this concept of how um, photography influenced people's perceptions and is used as propaganda. This is my instructor's lecture for History of Photography Part 2. It's about 15 minutes long and again there's the PDF. So if you click on the PDF it will open up the lecture um, in the PDF form and you should be able to access these different links that I've included. You can obviously use any of this information for any of your homework discussion posts, your essays, uh, any of the weekly quizzes. Answers can oftentimes be found here. But there's a lot of great additional links um, that might help you when you're trying to get more familiar with, um, let's say you want to learn more about um, an organization called the F64 Photographers. And so here, of course, you could learn more about the different information that's covered in the lecture. And this gives you the chance to read through and just enjoy the information that I have um, put together for you. These are the list of the photographers that you're going to want to use for the project that you should be working on that will be due in the final um, section of this learning unit. And so you're going to want to work from this list of photographers. And again, I've created links that take you to just a, you know, it could be um, an organization that is housing all the photographers' work. It could be that uh, website, Artnet. But it will at least get you started to be able to get a sense of which photographer you want to use for this um, this larger project that you should be working on. The terms, concepts, and vocabulary that you should be considering and learning about for this week's learning unit. And there again is the Farm Security Administration that I was speaking of before. So for this um, segment of this, the entire history of photography um, overall learning unit, there's three learning units within the overall learning unit. You're in the second one, part two. You're going to turn in a proposal. So I've created, it's about a six minute video. I've got samples of students work. So you're going to want to watch this. It gives you a lot of the details and information that will be really helpful in understanding what my expectations are and what you need to do for this piece of the um, homework. And then of course there's also a quiz for um, History of Photography Part 2. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for listening.